Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at the Spruce Base Four Stock Flat Top. Uh, there's four rocks here stacked on top of each other. This one is a flat top on top, does not have the bird bath in features on top of it. You'll notice elsewhere that we do offer that with a bird bath top as well. Uh, water's coming off the way we have it shimmed here almost entirely around this boulder, and I will get up close here and show you what it looks like here in the back. Uh, it's got a nice sound to it. You got water bubbling there in the top and then you got all this dripping going on around it. Now when you're setting up your fountain you want to make sure that you have uh, that you contain that water. You don't want any water splashing outside of your basin or to try to minimize that and there's a couple ways to do that. Um, your volume of your pump, you have a dial in there that you can turn it down either a ball valve or a, a dial itself on the pump where you can turn that flow down. Positioning the stones is another thing. We do have a helpful video on the website uh, where Matt gives you some helpful tips about setting these up to minimize your water loss, things like that. Auto fill, we have that option. We also have uh, what we call a liner basin option. So there's options. But when you're setting this up, one thing that I'll point out here is pretty easy and pretty obvious. This water dripping down right here is hitting hitting this rock right here, and that's called a splash. So when you're setting this up, you're going to want to tilt it and shim it and position the rocks so that it doesn't do that. I just wanted to, I left it there because I wanted to be able to show you that. Uh, so that's one thing you do when you're setting it up. You can shim it. Do, and we have shims on this to get that water to flow where we want it to flow. So that's stuff, stuff that you'll do on your end when you're setting it up. Got a great sound like I mentioned. I'll see if I can show you the top sound right there. The back side here. And then the front. I think you can pick those up. You usually can. Right now I'll grab the camera and take a close up look. Remember you'll be able to see this fountain all the way around. So if it's a fountain where you're going to be walking uh, all the way around. It might be a good choice for that. Um, and right now you see we have we have a lot of water coming out the back. It might be a little more coming out here what we call the front, although there is no front or back. You can see it's a lot of character in these rocks, a lot of water coming down. Make sure you uh, uh, check out the accessories page because we have a lighting video over there that shows you what lighting does to the boulders at night. We have a plume light at the top and then we have the up lighting which will catch all that motion going on at night. Now we don't have all the basin covered here with stone because we're rapidly just setting these fountains up, shooting videos and taking them right back down. So to help us it, to save a little time, we don't put rocks here in the back. You can kind of see back there the way the water's coming off back there as well. Now there again, we've got those rocks kind of straight in line. You can position those and twist them however you want to on your end. As I go around here, there's that little area I was talking about that you do have some water loss there, so when you're setting up, you certainly want to eliminate that. And this corner here, you can see that drip edge down there as well. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. You can uh, get notified then of all the stuff we're doing. We're adding new content and, and new designs all the time. Uh, if you have any questions about any of our products, there's contact info on the website. There's email and a toll-free number over there. Let us know if you have any questions.